Today, this tutorial is designed to show how Google Calendar works with sharing. So we want to set up a new calendar. So over here under the calendar side on the left, um, the options and types of calendars, different calendars, you might have a few of these already set up. Drop down next to my calendars, create new calendar, and here's where we set up our calendar name. So example, description, and location. Not required, but all this stuff can be helpful. Make this calendar public. So would you want this to be public or not? Share only my free busy information. So those are all settings based on how you want your calendar used. I'm going to click make this public. And if I want to share with people, I can do it right here. And the only thing about that is you may need it to be a Google account, which that one is. So I'm going to click Add Person. Now that person has been added, and this is where you would click to remove them. I'm not going to do that, but right there would be that. All right, now I'm going to say Create Calendar. Making your calendar public will make all events visible to the world, including via Google Search. Absolutely, that's what I want. Here's our example, Cal and in here. When we drop down again, we can hide this calendar from the list, create, uh, we go back to the calendar settings, notice we've got a few more things. If we want to embed the calendar now that it exists, we can embed that calendar in our website or blog. And do you want to auto accept invitations, all this fun stuff. So look through the settings and then if you want to get into more advanced stuff as far as the calendar address and subscriptions, etc., these are the options you're going to use for those things. For now, I'm going to click on Example Cal. Make sure that I choose the right calendar. I'm going to say Example Event. Edit Event. Uh, I actually don't want it on the 15th. I want it on the 23rd and where it's happening at the event center all events happen there and description and you want a reminder set yeah I want to pop up 30 minutes before I want it to be green for the event color it's a green event and I'm gonna be busy for that and it's default, which would be public. You want to invite some people to this, just put in their email address here and click add for each one. If you want, you can allow the guests to modify the event. And we're going to click save. Well, you know what? I'm going to do time. Ten to ten thirty instead of an all day event and save. So here's our example event, ten o'clock on the twenty third. And I want to click day. There's our event. Now if I want to change something real quick, I can just click and drag and say this is a two hour event. Would you like to notify the guests? At this time I'm going to say don't send. Otherwise I'll be bombarding that person with invitations and changes and everything else. So there you have it. That's how you share with another person. If you wanted to add somebody to this calendar, we would just need to go to Share this calendar. And now that we're back in here, we can add another person. Uh, for this one, let's do and changes saved. That's where it says saved up here. There it is. Have fun Google calendaring.